All right, hello, welcome back to another one of the 12 days of Vlogmas. I think this is number 10, it's Friday as I'm filming this about noon right now. I just got Grace down for a nap and I was packing up the car and the diaper bag because when she wakes up, we are gonna go to Legoland. I'm really excited, I love taking her to Legoland, but I don't think we've been in like a month, like life just got kind of busy. So I'm really excited to go today and I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to do a what's in my diaper bag video. So as you can see, we actually have two separate diaper bags. Both are from Fawn Design, but this is like their mini backpack and this is the full size. This I usually take for like any outing that's like under three hours-ish. Like this I'll probably take to Legoland today. It's lighter, it's compact. It has all the essentials, but not a lot of like the extra stuff that's in here. It is convenient to have the two different sizes and just to have two diaper bags in general, but it's definitely not a necessity and if I could go back I would probably just get the mini one because this it has enough room for pretty much everything that we use regularly so I'm gonna go ahead and start by going through the smaller one so in this little outside pocket I keep a scrunchie and a mask for myself and then on the little strap here I have this little pacifier case clipped and this is nice for like easy quick access for a pacifier keeps it clean and keeps me from having to dig through the bag looking for one and then we also have have a little hand sanitizer on the outside and a little Lego Princess Leia. <laughs> and then inside the bag, it is a diaper bag, so essentials, diapers. <laughs> it has this nice little pocket here that's like perfect sized for a couple diapers. We have wipes. And then this is our portable changing mat from gather. It may not seem all that special, but honestly, this is probably one of the top items that I would recommend for new parents. It's made from a really easy to clean wipeable vegan leather, which I would say easy to clean is like the most important thing for a changing mat. And it's just really compact. Like it folds up super small. This is the micro size. We also have one of these in the big bag that's in the micro plus size. So it's just a little bit bigger. We also have some little baby uh, face and hand wipes, a burp cloth, pacifier and bottle wipes. This has been a new addition since Grace started eating more foods. Some of these little teether crackers for a snack on the go. And then we keep an extra outfit in here for her. Bottoms, a onesie, ta-da, and an extra pair of socks. And I know it's pretty standard to keep an extra change of clothes for baby in the diaper bag. But another thing that I do, actually because someone in the comments recommended it and it has saved us a couple times, is we keep a plastic bag, like a big plastic baggie in the bottom of the diaper bag bag because when Grace has needed the change of clothes, what do you do with the dirty outfit? And that's what this Ziploc bag is for. <laughs> Last thing at the bottom of the diaper bag is just a couple extra diapers just because the little diaper pouch here only fits like four and I just like to have a couple extras. So that is everything in the mini diaper bag. It all fits in here really, really nicely too. Like I don't feel like I have to like squish it all together. There's even some extra room on top and I'll usually throw in like a toy or two before we go. All night and put back together. And then the big diaper bag has all of the same things as the mini bag. I won't go through like every single thing because I don't want this video to be too repetitive. But the extra things we have in here, we keep a blanket in here, two burp cloths. Oh dang it, I just realized I missed something in the mini bag. In these little inside pockets here in both bags, we just keep a little on the go diaper cream. In this bag, we have socks and mittens, a little hat in case it gets cold, a bib, and everything else in here is the same. So like I said, it's not that different. So yeah, that is what is in my diaper bag. I don't know why, but what goes into a diaper bag is actually not something that I thought about at all until we were going to Grace's first pediatrician appointment. I had bought the diaper bag. I knew that I needed a diaper bag, but I specifically remember, and actually I think I vlogged it. When we were going to Grace's one week checkup, I was like, oh my gosh, I, what goes in a diaper bag? I need to pack a diaper bag. And it took some trial and error. And we've definitely like tweaked what goes into the diaper bag as Grace has gone gotten older and I'm sure it will continue to change, but I feel like for where we are right now, I I've got a good handle on what goes in the diaper bags. I try to stay pretty on top of it and make sure that they are always fully stocked. Usually what we'll do is when either Steven or I have used a diaper bag, we have a little spot designated in the nursery. Steven calls it the processing area. So he'll put the bag there and then I know I need to like go through it, make sure everything's good, replace the stuff that we've used. The one thing that we don't keep in the diaper bags is some backup formula. I know they sell little canisters for it and I feel like that wouldn't be a bad thing to 
to keep in the diaper bag just to have as a backup. But usually whenever we're going out, we just bring her little milk cooler. And I always like to bring one more bottle than I think I'll need just in case something happens or we decide we want to stay somewhere longer. It's just nice to, to be on the safer side. So like today, we'll probably go to Legoland for like three hours. I think we'll be there for one feed, but I'll prep and bring bottles for that feed and the feed after that, just in case we decide to stay later. But yeah, that is everything that goes in our diaper bag. I'm going to load the small diaper bag up in the car. I've already got the stroller in there. And then since Grace is still sleeping, I'm going to try and clean up up here a little bit before we go. In the last vlog, which I filmed yesterday, you guys saw I did a bunch of Christmas shopping and then I said I was going to do some wrapping. And oh my gosh, did I, did I do some wrapping? <laughs> I wrapped, I think like 13 or 14 presents. I was just really in the zone. But by the time I finished, I was so tired. It was like midnight. I just walked downstairs like a zombie and did not clean up anything up here. So there's like wrapping scraps, ribbon, scissors, tape, definitely some tidying that needs to be done. So I'm going to do that. Also, I filmed a clip last night after I did the wrapping. So I'll insert that here and then uh, we'll see you at Legoland. All right. So I have been busy tonight. <laughs> I think before tonight we had like six or seven presents wrapped under the tree. Now we have almost everything. <laughs> I've got, I think, three or four more presents left to wrap, but yeah. I am pretty pleased. And I think my wrapping actually was pretty decent this time, right? Like I went the extra mile with the little ribbons, <laughs> tying the little bows. I, I think for me, this is about as good as it gets. <laughs> also, I added the candy canes to the tree because I realized we never put the candy canes up. And I like the candy canes. It, uh, I think it adds a little bit of character. All right, actually still at home. Grace is still napping and it's been like an hour and a half since we switched her from three naps a day to to two naps a day. Her naps have been longer, which has been great, but I'm pretty sure she's gonna wake up soon. So I'm making her bottles right now and I have the little cooler here that we're gonna take with us to Legoland. Recently, we started using a formula pitcher. So in the morning, Steven makes all the formula for the whole day and it has this little like mixing stick so that the formula doesn't all, you know, clump together and settle at the bottom, but it's been really convenient. Okay, ice pack. And there we go. Legoland has a little baby care center. So when it's time for her feed, we'll just go there. They have a bottle warmer. Legoland. Legoland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Steven actually went into the office today. How was it? First time in forever. It was actually really fun. It's always good seeing people for the first time in a long time. <laughs> We've all been working from home for so long. Well, while Steven plays with Grace, I'm gonna head upstairs actually to my office and try to get a little bit more editing done. Oh, but you know what we haven't done today, Miss Grace? We gotta do the calendar. Uh oh. Uh oh. We gotta do the Christmas countdown. Number 17. So I need to finish up editing on the vlog that I filmed yesterday that's going up tomorrow. I'm done with the rough cut. I just need to go through and like smooth out the audio, add in any little like punch-ins and stuff that I want. But that should only take like 20, 30 minutes and then probably like another 15 minutes to make the thumbnail and schedule it. Hopefully all said and done, no more than 45 minutes because that's when it'll be time to start Grace's bedtime routine. And then I won't have more time to edit this tonight after Grace goes to bed because Stephen and I are actually going on 
on a date night tonight, kind of like a, a late night date night. We're going to see the new Spider-Man movie and it starts at 7.30. And every other date night that we've done since Grace was born, we did early. So we would leave at like four or 5 p.m. That way we could be back by like seven or eight for bedtime. But tonight we're kind of doing the opposite. We're actually gonna try and put her down for bed before we leave. Usually Grace's bedtime is seven. We're gonna try and put her down at 6.45. Steven's parents are coming over at 6.30. And then if she wakes up or anything, they'll be here, they'll be ready. But hopefully, ideally, Grace will go down around 6.45 or seven and she'll sleep through the night and they'll just be hanging out on the couch on standby and we'll come home and then we can just go to sleep. Like I said, this is not how we've done date nights in the past. So I, I'm hoping it works out, but Steven's really excited for this movie. I'm really excited too. And we're going to like the Sinopolis with the big comfy reclining chairs and stuff. So it, it'll be fun. It'll be great. And Steven's parents will be here for Grace if she wakes up, but I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little bit nervous about leaving after bedtime. It'll be fine though. It'll be fine. Okay, I need to edit. But first I need my glasses. Where the heck are my glasses? Okay, I did a bad thing. I did not wear my glasses while I edited, but uh, I did a good thing and I finished everything in about 35 minutes, which means I got 10 minutes to play downstairs with Steven and Grace before we start her bedtime routine. Okay, what do I wanna call this vlog? Last minute Christmas. Shopping for last minute Christmas gifts. Christmas gifts, Christmas presents. See, this is the weird part of being a YouTuber. I'm like, what? what's more clickable? Christmas gifts or Christmas presents? I'm gonna go presents. All right, add the thumbnail, description. Okay, tags, Christmas, Christmas shopping, Christmas presents, Target, home goods, shop with me, Christmas 2021, vlogmas. Vlogmas 2021. Add end screen. Schedule for tomorrow, 9 a.m. All right, and I'm done. <laughs> Gonna go spend some time downstairs with Steven and Grace and then get her down for the night and then date night. All right, well, I would not say that bedtime went as uh, smooth and seamless as we had hoped. It was, it was good though. Yeah, there were some rough patches, but she is down. It's like 7.05. Steven's mom is here. She's gonna bake cookies, watch a documentary, and hopefully uh, Grace will stay yeah. asleep. Hopefully, I... hopefully it's nice and boring. Yeah. <laughs> All right, it's Spider-Man time. Wait, you're supposed to hold up the ticket? Oh. <laughs> I forgot how bougie Sinopolis is. Yeah. Boom, let's go. Well, we came home to a sleeping baby and some fresh baked little gingerbread cookies. Ooh. <laughs> Grandma was busy. Your mom is so sweet. And Grace stayed asleep the entire time. It was funny, I guess she like stirred for like 10 seconds, like, man. And my mom was like, oh, I was like, I was ready to, I was ready to help out, but she went right back to sleep. <laughs> are you asking for attention? Come here. You're smelling gingerbread cookies, huh? Those are not for you. Oh, hey, do you wanna come up or no? It's the OG gang. All right, well, before we end the vlog, uh, give me like your maybe 15, 20 second, no spoiler thoughts on Spider-Man. <laughs> I loved it. I love all the Spider-Man movies. That was easily the best Spider-Man movie I've ever seen. I, there's, I can't talk about anything. Anything is a spoiler. Yeah. <laughs> Just, but you liked it. It was a great movie. How about you? Um, I liked the story. I liked the acting. I liked like the pop culture moments. Hated the ending. Yes. Like, what's the word? Not vigorously, like vitrally. Yes. I, I have like a bitter anger towards the yes. ending of this movie. And um, I can't say why. And I can't say why, but if anyone wants to DM me on Instagram and tell me what you thought of the ending, I would absolutely love to know. <laughs> yeah, I think I am too biased by the greatness of the movie to even think about the quality of the ending. Yeah, I liked the movie, I just didn't like the ending. I guess we're gonna end it there? Yeah. All right, well, from our OG gang. And the sleeping baby down the hall. Yeah, bye. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> bye. bye. Baby, this here is just gonna be you and me. Christmas memory